Hey guys, it's Tarko Cyclone FPV, and I am trying to get all my cameras again lined up, and I'm having the hardest time, so bear with me a second as I figure this out. I've got two angles. There we go. I think that's it right there. Perfect. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I've decided I've got a, a couple repairs that came in for some customers, and I told them I would jump on it as soon as possible. So the first one I'm going to get started with here is uh, Michael Parrish. You sent me this box, and I'm getting ready to open it so that we can see what's going on uh, and take it from there. Okay, so if you guys want to follow along, this may be a very good tutorial that may help you with some problems that you may experience down the road. We're going to find out. Now, I want to say that the quad was basically flipping or doing what have you, and this is the $100 kit that uh, Michael purchased from me. Um, the video seemed to look like it was the motors not spinning properly, but I think it's important for us to all look at it because... I have a feeling some of y'all may run into the same issue down the road, and why not? We could at least knock this out. So the first thing is we've got the um, Black Widow motors, and these are the 2204-2100 KDs. Okay, so you can see this quad right here, right? So uh, let's try to figure out what's going on. Let me get my LiPo uh, connector here, and I'm going to go ahead and pop it on into Betaflight. Now this is running a NACE32 flight controller, and I know a lot of you are not familiar with those, so hang in there. I will do my best to explain, but let me get my cables ready first. Uh, yeah, this is running the NACE32, I believe. Yep, it sure is. And first thing I want to do is I'm going to look at motor mapping. I, I just want to understand where the motor mapping, if there's a motor mapping issue or something along those lines. So let's go ahead and, and I will now share with you. Uh, let's do this. I got this new little feature on here that I didn't even know how to use, but we're going to try it. So we're going to go one, two, three. Okay, let's try that. I don't know if this is going to look good or not, but we'll try it. First thing is we're going to go ahead and open Betaflight. And now we're going to see what we're working with here. Okay, so we want to go this route, though. So let's try this. Let me see if I can not screw this up somehow. One two, three. There, let's try that. That may work better. Okay, so we're attached to beta flight right now. And we're going to go ahead and click connect. And we're going to see, okay, so we know right off the bat that the, we're going to go ahead and remove this because all this is going to do is throw the quad off. Ooh, this looks like it might be in there pretty good. Let me see if there's a way to get this out without beating up the Get this strap out of here for right now at least. We could deal with it later. And I've lost my signal to beta flight, I guess, because the USB is bouncing all over the place. Uh, but we will go ahead and put this uh, wrap aside. Now let's get back to business, okay? So, first thing is we want to make sure that the quad sits flat. So, let's go ahead and connect back to beta flight and do a reset axis and calibrate accelerometer. And hopefully, we're going to see degrees and roll go to zero. Sorry, pitch degrees and roll go to zero. Okay, so we're gonna go to ports. All right, that's fine. Configuration, well, he's running now, one shot, and let's check this out. One, one. Uh, excuse me. I've had a little bit of a cold and not that much sleep, so I am a little tired right now, but let's see, let's go to motors and let's power this up. Now I'm using an AC to DC converter, so let's be a little careful here. Uh, we're going to turn this voltage down to like 12.4. <coughs> um, and now we're going to go to motors. Now, I don't know if the motors have been calibrated. Okay, so uh, it's uh, quite simple. Uh, right off the bat, the first thing I notice is that the motors are spinning the opposite direction. Okay, so Michael... Um, I think, and this is one of the things that I was trying to tell you over the phone is, okay, so you've got your left and right, yeah, I'm sorry, you've got motor one and motor three and motor four, oh my gosh, spinning counterclockwise, and you've got motor two and three spinning clockwise. So um, best way to test that out if you don't want to put your fingers on there is to just move your throttle up, put like a bag or something and see which way it goes. If it goes to the left, then you're spinning clockwise. And if it goes to the right, then you're spinning counterclockwise. In this case, Michael, you're spinning counterclockwise. 
and therefore the quad cannot fly unless you went into the setup, into the configuration, and you changed it, but you didn't, you see? What you've got is quad one, two, three, four. No, sorry, my apologies. Uh, you have quad, I thought it was that, hold on. One, two, yeah, no, that's not it. Um, nope, that's not it either. I don't know how where it was. I thought it used to be an option on here. Maybe it is, maybe it's been removed, I don't know. But what I do know is that the uh, uh, motors are spinning the wrong direction for this quad to be able to fly. Okay, so we're gonna leave it like this, and now we need to go into uh, BL Heli and make the change in BL Heli. Um, let me just check something here. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and disconnect. Let's head on over to BL Heli. Hopefully you guys can see, I don't really think you need to see my face, right? So let's just try this. Nope, hold on. None here. And then let's go one, two. There we go. All right, so now you can see where, stop looking at my face. My bad, I keep picking the wrong darn thing. There, let's try that instead. Okay, so we're in BL Heli, and we're gonna go ahead and connect. Uh, just to verify, we are in COM15. So you should be able to drop down and see COM15, and we're gonna click connect. Now, if it fails to read, uh, okay, that's fine, let's click okay. It'll automatically, uh, hold on. It should automatically correct, there we go. Okay, so what we know is that the motors are spinning the wrong direction. And we know that motor one and motor four need to spin clockwise. So the first thing we're gonna do is right click on one and isolate it. And we're gonna say reversed because it needs to go the opposite direction of what it is going. And then we're going to right click on motor two and we are going to say reversed. And then we are gonna to go to motor, or we're gonna uh, go to motor three. Sorry, I was looking at something else here. And again, it needs to be reversed. And then we're gonna to go to motor four and it will need to be reversed, okay? So just to recap, a motor one reversed, I should have done right, right setup, my apologies. So change the direction and then click right setup, motor two reversed, right setup, okay? Motor three reversed, right setup, and we'll do one more for motor four. Okay, so right side up, there we go. All right, so as you can tell now, or as you should be able to tell in just a minute, when I close this and I go back to beta flight and I connect, now my motor should be all spinning the right direction. Okay, one is clockwise, four is clockwise, two is counterclockwise, three is counterclockwise. So it does look now like this quad is ready to actually go. Now I'm just checking to make sure orientation is right. So I will go to motors and I will click stop. And there you go. So Michael, um, it looks to me like uh, the biggest problem was that the motors were spinning the wrong direction. And so therefore that has to be corrected. So I've gone ahead and corrected the direction uh, of the motors in beta flight, okay? If you have any other questions, Michael, uh, hit me up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some props on here and give it a test run real quick. But I would safely say that that's what caused the problem. All right, uh, to the rest of y'all, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support. I hope this helps, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys. Bye.